Can we make him just go round and Oh, <gasps> we can. Oh, yes, please. Please work. I want to make him go round and round. Yes. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, we went through the, the ceiling. Welcome back to Hard Bullet VR. The game recently had an update, and now we have this over here, the welding table. So we place objects inside here, and then we can weld them together. But we can also weld ragdolls, which should be a lot of fun. But anyway, all we have to do is pick up this blowtorch here, and then we can go ahead and weld things together. So let me put this in my pocket here. And now we can weld all of this together, including the guns over there. So there's so many possibilities now. What should we weld together first? Hmm, let's go for this and this kind of weird mix. So we also have this box here, which is like the zero gravity area. So we can go ahead and just leave it exactly where we want it to, but we can also turn it off. But you know what? Let's keep it on because it is super useful. So let's go ahead and weld our first ever weapon. This is going to look really weird. Okay, place that there. Grab the blowtorch thing. Okay, uh, weld together. Here we go. So you, all you have to do is hold it and then boom, it's welded. Okay, yeah, you kind of have to turn it off. It's beautiful. All right, buddy. Let's see if this works. I'm pretty sure they have new sound effects as well. Like, listen, why is he not saying anything anymore? Hey! Oh, there we go. Did they always say, hey, I can't really remember. Anyway, let's see if this works. <laughs> yeah, it works. So we should also be able to weld the welded weapons, right? <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to do this, but maybe we can make them just a little bit more crazy. So let's go for this right here and let's see if we can actually make something out of this. All right, here we go. Soon I will make the ultimate weapon first. I just want to get used to this new system they got going on. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and weld this weapon on the end here or maybe some extra damage and weld. There we go. But I'm also going going to add another one on this side. Yep, that looks pretty good so far. And you know what? I'm also going to add this bin lid so I can use it as cover when I'm shooting at the enemies. Well, this looks very, very strange. <laughs> Here we go. How heavy is it? Oh, yeah, it weighs quite a lot. Right. Into the back of this ragdoll. Oh, dead instantly. And then open fire. <laughs> Oh, jeez, this is so weird. Okay, go for the reload. Right, now let's see what this thing is like against enemies that actually want to fight back. Here we go, let's see if it actually works as cover as well. Let them reload. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay. Ah, is it working? I think they have terrible aim. Ow, okay, I've been shot. Return fire. This is so weird. You know what? I actually really like this update so far. <laughs> There is also another map, but we'll check that out a little later. Uh-oh, gotta go for the reload. Ah! Ah! Ugh. I'm taking a lot of hits. <laughs> okay. Ah, it's working! Kind of. Yeah, look at that. The only issue is we're getting shot from behind. Hey, buddy! Oh! Oh! How did I do that? I didn't mean for that. Sorry, mate. Yeah, this thing works really well. And I should also mention, we will be heading over to this area a little bit later. I think you all know the drill by now. So yeah, this thing is great and everything, but let's go ahead and design something new. What else do we want to make? Oh yeah, we can use a pencil. Let's just place that there and then... Wait, what if I make a pencil baseball bat thing? That sounds pretty cool. So we're going to need a lot of pencils. So let's just throw them over there. Hit. So here's my idea. We're just going to go ahead, grab the pencils. And then just kind of stick them on as if it was like, uh, I don't know, nails coming out of it. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, yeah, I need to turn it off. Oh, it's a little bit weird. Oh, no, it's really weird. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, what have I done? Ah! Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, I broke the game. I have actually broke the game. Oh, no. I'm getting like one frame per second, and I think my game's about to crash. Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I've broken hard bullet again. Why does this happen to me every single time I play this game? Okay, everything's normal again. Looks like I'll, I'll never make that again. What if I make the world's longest spear? Let's see if this is possible. So place it there. Okay, this could definitely work. I should be able to take out enemies on the other side of the map with this thing. <clears throat> Only issue is it's already pretty heavy. And now let's go ahead and test it, see if it works. I mean, you know, it's not the most straightest spear you've ever seen, but let's see if I can actually hold it. Oh, oh, it weighs so much. Oh, I can barely lift it. Anyway, we do have a ragdoll in the end there, so let's see if we can go ahead and stab him. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is so awkward. 
Yeah, I can't do it. Yeah. Hang on, let me try and hold it a little bit differently. What about like this? Oh man, it weighs so much. Oh, oh, we got him. Yes. <laughs> We got him with the world's longest spear. I mean, I don't know if it's the world's longest, but there we go. It works. Would I recommend it? Definitely not. <gasps> Wait, what if we can weld it to something else? Can we weld you to the wall? Let's find out. I just realized this spear has gone right through him. Okay, does this work? Weld. All right, well, it looks like we can't weld anything to the actual walls around. Mm. Sorry, buddy. Now, I have had another idea, so I'm going to use this ragdoll here, this fella, and I'm going to go ahead and actually weld his hands together. I think this is possible, so here we go. Weld one hand to that hand. Okay, there we go. You can now see he is linked together. So, the next thing I want to do is head over to, let's see, okay, the climbing area, and then I'm going to try and actually hook this guy on one of the hooks, but not through it, if that makes sense. I kind of want to do it with his hands like that. So we are going to have to make it a little bit shorter somehow. I, I don't know if this is going to be possible or not. So now I've welded a weapon to his hand. So that way we should be able to get him on the hook. Although this is a very strange hook. <laughs> Come on, I need to grab it. Yeah, it kind of works. I mean, you could just go ahead and impale him on the spike, but where's the fun in that? This guy's actually okay. Hmm, where can we weld you to? Does it work over here? Can you reach that far? Can we make him just go round and- Oh, we can. Oh, yes, please. Please work. I want to make him go round and round. Yes. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, we went through the, the ceiling. Right, you know what? I think we need a bit of a clear up. So let's go ahead and remove all of this. Because I also think it's time for us to move on to the torture area. <laughs> okay, so I wonder what we could do in this area with the new welding tool. Wait, hang on a minute. The thing that spins, the grinder thing. Please tell me we can go ahead and attach a ragdoll to this and make them rotate really fast. Please let this work. You there, this way. <laughs> oh, dude, this might be a really horrible way to go. But it's okay because you don't have feelings. All right, here we go. Oh no, it, it does work. Okay, here we go. Oh, look out. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, here we go. Please, please, attach. No, it's not working. It's spinning too fast. Well, it's saying green, but clearly it doesn't work. So instead, well, I'm just going to go ahead and attach him there. Oh, oh, jeez. Okay, you really can't attach him to it. Um, Although he is, he is stuck in the contraption, so I'm just going to back up slowly and uh, leave him there. We'll check on him later. I'm sure he's okay. Right, on to the drill. <laughs> <laughs> and now, can we weld him? Oh, wow. Okay, well, we can weld him to this part. I don't know why you'd want that. Maybe it's gonna follow him up now. Hang on, let me try and bring this up. Ugh. No, it's, it's, it's too much. I think we broke the device. Yeah, yeah, we, we definitely broke it. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna leave him to it. Anyway, since we're in the torture area, I say we actually make a torture weapon, kind of. Something really powerful. I'm thinking maybe use this. Attach a knife to it. So if I place this, this could look pretty cool, I think. We have it like, like that. And, uh, what else? Um, hmm. Maybe <clears throat> this thing. Have it on this side. Kind of like that. Turn off. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, this is cool. Quite like the look of this thing, actually. Let's see. Does it work? Uh, yes, it does. <laughs> Hooray. Yeah. So if we want to, we can also, what the, <laughs> we can also kind of like swing the weapon and then hook them with this. Kind of like this. Um, just get a little bit closer. <laughs> like this. Uh, that was the other knife. <clears throat> get off. There we go. See, kind of works. And then you can throw it. <clears throat> Right, I've made a bit of a mess, let's be honest. So I think it's time for a bit of a cleanup. And that means the meat grinder. It's the only way to dispose of the bodies. I mean, technically it makes more of a mess, if anything, because body parts just go flying everywhere. Anyway, turn the machine off and then throw them in. <sighs> Disposing of the bodies. All right, so we have three of them in there now. And uh, well, let's just go ahead. Press the button. Oh, oh jeez. Oh man, that never gets old. Oh, one of the body parts got impaled on, on the hook over there. I don't even know what that is. Ugh, get away from me. See? Nice and clean. Yeah, not really. Now we have a deadly swinging shopping cart. Oh, look at that. It is lethal. Okay, my friend. Oh, I actually didn't mean to stab you with this thing. This thing is 
really deadly. Anyway, this way, let's see what it's like to put you on here. Also, can I put these weapons away? <gasps> Ooh, that works. Cool. All right, you just stay right there, and then uh, I'm gonna make this shopping cart swing, and hopefully should hit you. Okay, swing! Huh. Yeah, I should probably work on this. Ah! I'm stuck! I'm stuck in the cart! It's attacking me! It's gone wrong! <laughs> oh, there we go. Whoa! Oh, look out! Oh! Yeah, this thing kind of sucks. <laughs> anyway, back to the old method. <laughs> ha! <laughs> yeah! Yay! Now, like I mentioned earlier, there's also a new map. So this is the market. So let's just go ahead and check it out. I need my other weapon. Here we go. So there should be enemies around here. Oh, I'm being shot. Where are they? There. <laughs> Whoa. So a pretty cool map by the looks of it. Oh, there's an elevator. <laughs> I want to get in the elevator. Wait, this isn't an elevator. Is it? What? It's just doors. Right, quick reload. And then take them all out. Beware of the hook. That's a very good point. And what is with all these doors? Oh, hey, buddy. And he's dealt with. Oh, oh, hang on a minute. There's a tire in there. Cool. Let's swing to the other side. Whee! Nailed it. Hey, you. <gasps> Wait, can I put a tire on someone's head? Can you even take this off? Yeah. I don't know if it's possible. Oh, I got it. You there. Excuse me. All right, put the tire on his head. Great, he's fallen over. I think he might be dead. Well, now he definitely is. Okay, and place. How can you still see me? Oh, he threw it off. I thought that would work better than that. So yeah, this is the new market map. Pretty nice. Works pretty well. But anyway, on that note, I'm going to end this one right here. There's another video on the top right. So make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye!